Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Chef Carl from Cooking and Grilling with Carl. And in this video, I'm going to be making for you the Flying Dutchman from In-N-Out Burger right after this. All right, before we get started with the recipe, let me show you all the ingredients I'll be using. All right, and a little background on this burger. This burger went viral on the internet. It's called the Flying Dutchman, and it's about in, it's by In-N-Out Burger. That's on the West Coast. There's no In-N-Out Burgers on the East Coast, but they're mostly on the West Coast, like Vegas and California and all that stuff. And um, I've been an In-N-Out Burger a couple times, and their burgers are really good. But I didn't I didn't know that they had a secret menu. And so the Flying Dutchman is on their secret menu. And pretty much you slice, thick sliced onions, um, griddled or, you know, pan seared or pan fried, and they're used as the buns, all right? And so that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be doing the Flying Dutchman. And so I just got finished forming my, um, portioning out my ground beef that I'm gonna use for my burger patties. And right here I'm slicing my onions and that's gonna be used as the bun, all right? All right, so right here I'm making the sauce that In-N-Out uses. Um, this is a copycat recipe, by the way. And so the sauce is pretty much like a Thousand Island or Russian dressing. So you'll see the ingredients I'm using. I'm using mayo, ketchup, a little bit of vinegar, and some relish. All right. All right, so my sauce is done for the Flying Dutchman burger, and I'm on to the next phase of this recipe, which is cooking the burgers. All right, so into a hot pan, I'm going down with a little oil. And so I'm just gonna season up my um, onions a little bit, and I'm gonna sear those in a cast iron pan. All right, I'm not sure if In-N-Out seasons their onions, but um, I'm figuring, you know, they're gonna layer the flavor, so I'm gonna just make sure everything is nice and seasoned. And so basically I'm going to get these onions nice and caramelized. You know, they're going to be a little bit brown. It's going to bring out the sugars in them. It's going to make them nice and sweet and a little soft. And you just got to be a little bit careful flipping them. So my other onion was a little bit thicker than the first one. So I got to let that cook just a little bit longer. But basically the color that you see on the one that is has been flipped, that's what you want. Alright. And as you can see, I got the look I got the same color on the other onion. So that ring right there, <laughs> that onion ring right there fell by the wayside, so but it's all good. All right, so now I'm removing my first onion, or shall I say the bun. And this one I'm just gonna leave just a little bit longer. All right, so into my pan, I'm going in with um, my ground beef balls, and I'm gonna smash those down in the burger patties. And if you don't have a smasher like this, you can just, you know, you don't, you, you really don't even have to smash them, but um, In-N-Out burgers are very thin, and so I'm gonna smash them, we'll do smash burger style. But if you don't have a smasher, you can use a, a spatula. All 
All right, so right here I'm going down with a little yellow mustard. And this is a little trick I use just to give the burgers a little bit more flavor. They're not going to taste like mustard, but it is going to give you some nice flavor that you really can't put your um, finger on. And it's something that I do all the time, and it's going to be delicious. So now I'm spreading the mustard out nice and even. And I'm going down with some seasoning. I'm using Famous Dave's uh, Burger Seasoning. You can use any you know, all-purpose seasoning that you want or just salt and pepper. And really and truly, the, the mustard will give it pretty much all the flavor that it needs, but I'm just giving it additional flavor with that um, Famous Dave's Burger Seasoning. Also, if you made it this far and you like what you've seen so far, please hit that subscribe button and become a uh, subscriber to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything and also it helps support the channel. And also hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload other videos. And also smash that thumbs up button. Alright, I really appreciate it. All right, so now I'm going down on my burgers with two slices of cheese on each burger. All right, in and out tends to use really thick American cheese, so I'm using two slices of American cheese on each burger. All right, so I'm going to let that melt. And right here, I'm putting down my top bun. And also, you might be a subscriber. And if you're not following me on social media, you can follow me on social media also at Cooking and Grilling with Carl. I would definitely appreciate that. It definitely supports by subscribing on social media. It also supports my YouTube channel. All right, so now I'm building that Flying Dutchman burger, and so I'm going down on the first uh, on the top on the bottom bun, and now the burger's complete. All right, so here you go, the Flying Dutchman Burger from In-N-Out Burger out on the West Coast. All right, so I'll give you a little footage of me trying the burger. All right, as you can see, I had to be really careful picking it up. It's not an easy burger to eat, but here we go. All right, right here, I'm dipping into that special sauce. And here I am posing for the camera, my son on the camera. And right here, I'm taking that first bite. And this joint was really messy. It was really hard to eat, but yo, the flavor was incredible. Yo, this joint is fire. <laughs> yeah, so on that note, I highly recommend you try this burger. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.